if you saw anyone in the area at this time, if you know of people that came home uh, after 430 in the early morning, particularly if you know of anyone that looks like they've been in a fight, bruised, black eyes, uh, scuffled, clothing torn, there was a scuffle here and there were, my son was shot in the back twice. And I ask you please, if you know anything, heard anything, just come forward and talk to the police. Uh, it may be important, it may not, but we want to find who killed our son. Uh, our son was very simply walking home, talking on the phone to his girlfriend, and jumped, and like I said, shot twice in the back, right here. If they would kill my son for simply walking home, they will kill anybody and they will continue to kill. And the next time they shoot and kill, it will be someone you love. And trust me, this is not much fun. This is something our family will always live with, his friends will always live with. And I hope this doesn't go any further, so please help us try to find who shot our son and let's try to make this neighborhood, it's a wonderful neighborhood, let's try to make it safe. I have to look at a note here because my son's last thing he wrote on Facebook was please stop the killing. And minutes later he was shot dead. So please, let's stop the killing. Let's try to help get this killer off the street. And therefore, my son can rest in peace and your neighborhood can be safe. And I thank you all for coming. If there is anyone knows anything, whether you think you know something or not, if you saw somebody, heard something, or like I say, know somebody with some pattern clothes or came around at that time, please call the police. And my son, many of you know, like I said, a bearded, very friendly man, always wanting to help. These will be put up in the neighborhood. There is a reward. And local members, please help. Help. Thank you.